Are you a beginner at craps and want a relatively easy strategy to play that gives you the most uh, dice combinations with very minimal investment or risk? Or maybe you're a numbers guy looking to cover the most popular numbers on the dice. In today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that with the 6, 7, 8. Let's hop into it. What's up everyone, Chris the Dice DGen here, and today I'm showing you another basic strategy, um, the 678. Now this is a very popular strategy I've seen uh, quite often on YouTube and stuff, um, but it's a very good beginner strategy, and um, I'll explain why while I'm explaining how it works, uh, but it's also good for relatively low uh, bankroll and you're really trying to maximize your profit. Now, again, it's gambling. Um, it may not work out all the time, but um, the premise behind the strategy, the six, seven, eight, is you're betting on the three most common numbers on the dice. And why do I say that? So, the six has five possible combinations, right? So I'm just gonna lay out five chips to show that. The eight also has uh, five possible combinations. And then the, six, the seven has six possible combinations, right? So out of the 36 dice combinations that there are on, between the two die, you have 16 chances of winning. Now, in terms of statistics, I know it's less than half. However, these three are the most common numbers on the dice, right? So five chances with the six and eight, and then six chances with the seven. So that's why this strategy is relatively common. Um, I've seen it quite a bit at the casino, and then like I said, it's uh, I've seen it rolled out quite a few times on YouTube here, and uh, it seems to work out well. Um, I do play it occasionally. I think it's a very good beginner strategy. Um, personally, don't play it very often these days. Um, I prefer, if I'm gonna play like the, the dark side or the don't, um, I prefer the D-Gen dark side, which I will link to, um, is a video that I made uh, not too long ago. I'll put a link to it though down below. Um, but let's go over the strategy. So the way it works is you're gonna bet 20, I'm assuming this is a $10 table, by the way. Um, if you have more table, you can adapt it for the level of table you're playing. But $25 don't pass. Um, and you're really looking to avoid the 7 or 11 on the come out roll, obviously, or else that would be a loser. And then once the point is established, let's say 10 is a point, right? Then you're going to bet $12 on the 6 and 8. All right. So that's, that's all your bets. That's, you're done. Now, you can choose to progress later as you go. But the reason why I think this is a very good beginner strategy is it's relatively mindless in the sense that you don't really have to pay too much attention to what you're doing if you're just gonna leave the base set up as is. Now, you can start pressing things, you can start doing other things, but if you just leave it like this, um, you're basically either watching the dice roll and collecting or you're just not gonna be collecting on that turn. Now, the major hole in the strategy is if you have someone who's consistently rolling points. If they roll the points, you're going to be losing the pass line, which you're going to be losing, you know, $25. And then you would need two hits on the six or eight to recoup that money. Um, but overall, again, the seven is the most common. Um, and the, the good thing with the strategy too is it allows you to have these numbers set up without really risking uh, the point seven. Now, the 0.7 is statistically, um, I think it's around 30% almost uh, from what I've been seeing and uh, doing some research on. So um, this is a great strategy for that because it eliminates your investment loss here with the pass line as a hedge. Now, again, if you have people rolling a lot of points, the strategy can get costly uh, as with any strategy. There's a hole, uh, so the hole would be the point here. but. Uh, we're going to roll it out, but this is the basic premise behind the strategy because let's say a seven came out right here, right? You'd lose the $24, but you'd be getting paid 25 on the pass line. So it basically acts as a hedge, uh, but we're going to roll it out 
and uh, I'll show you how it works. And uh, like I said, I think it's a good beginner strategy um, and it gives you good number coverage um, with the most common numbers. So uh, let's get the bankroll counted out and let's hop into the roll. All right, so for this strategy, you're gonna need uh, $49 per shooter. Now, if you're one that likes to come with a bankroll of 10 shooters, uh, that's $490, but uh, for right now, $300 bankroll. Um, again, I said it's you know pretty good for beginners um, or those with a low bankroll trying to maximize profit. So I mean, you could play this with really whatever you wanted to, but uh, each in shooter, you're gonna need $49. All right, so this will be our bankroll here, and then um, after each shooter, I will put the profits and stuff in this rack here. Uh, so start off with a $25 pass line bet, or sorry, don't pass bet. Shooter will grab the dice. Eight, easy eight, that'll be our point. Eight's the point. Now, the thing with this is um, you're trying to bet on the most common numbers, so you do have, you're not going to be betting the eight when you have uh, the eight on the don't pass. So um, what I would do is I would move it over to a, a different number, the five or nine, because that would be the next most common number. Um, or what you can do is you can just not bet any other number and just play the six. Um, the strategy is the six, seven, eight. But again, if one of those is your points, um, you know, you're already betting against the eight back there. So I'm just gonna move it over to the nine um, and uh, we'll roll it out and see what happens. Seven, seven out. All right, so there's a classic example of the point seven, right? So we lose this uh, $22 here, but we're gonna get paid $25 on the don't pass. And that'll go in our rack here. And uh, we'll get it set up for another shooter. Nine, center field nine. That'll be our point. And uh, we'll go set up this. We'll ask the dealer for $12 on the six and eight. They'll give us a dollar change back in the rack there. And on this strategy, you know, you're looking to hit the six and the eight um, and just collect on those. Now you can press, like I said, but um, if you know if you're a beginner or you don't really want to press, you just want to try to you know slow roll, grind it out. Um, you know, you can just leave those there and you know hope for some sixes and some eights, um, and then you know hope that the point isn't hit. So shooters coming out, eight easy eight. So our uh, twelve dollar eight will get fourteen. Right, and uh, we're not gonna press it, we're just gonna be uh, slow grinding this one, so we'll just put that in the rack. Seven, seven out. So the uh, six and eight both come down, so $24 loss there, but we are getting paid on the pass line. And then we did have uh, that you know $14 win there. Um, so profited slightly on that shooter. We'll do another one here. Don't pass. Coming out. Seven. All right, so this would be a loss here on the don't pass. Uh, seven or 11's a loser. Two, three are winners there. So we're just gonna replace it. Eight, hard eight. That'd be our point. Uh, so again, we're going to uh, place the six here for 12. We get three change because we drop them 15. And then again, um, I'm going to go on the nine just because that's what I'm going to go on. But um, again, up to you if you actually want to bet the nine or just cover the six. Six, six easy. $12 six. It's going to get paid 14. Add that to our rack here. Just clean that up a bit. Ten, ten easy. Dice rolled there, but it was a ten. Five, 
five, no field five. Again, you could you know put it on the five or the nine, whatever, but you know, chose the nine. Three craps, ace deuce. Doesn't matter for us. Nine, center field nine. Uh, so our nine there is going to get paid 14 as well. And uh, we'll just add that to the rack. Seven, seven out. All right, so we lose the 22 and we're going to get paid on the don't pass there. And uh, get it set up again here on the don't pass. New shooter coming out. 10, 10 hard, be our point. We're gonna drop the dealer $24 and ask him to place the six and eight for us. We're all set up. Nine, center field nine. Doesn't matter for us. 12, midnight, boxcars, dice roll, but it was boxcars. Seven, seven out. So again, lose the 24, but we're getting paid uh, 25. So there, um, and you know, keep it going. Don't pass, new shooter. 10, 10 hard. And uh, we'll drop the dealer 25, ask him to place this on the six and eight. Dollar change to us, put it back in the rack. And uh, we'll rack that up. Six, six easy. $12, six is gonna pay 14. that to our rack there. Eight, easy eight. Again, 12 is going to pay 14. Need some more ones here. So that's 14. Six, six easy. Again, it's gonna win us 14. I'll do 15 for one. Six, six easy again. Another uh, 14, so do 15 for one. Again, up to you if you want to press any of these numbers, but uh, just going for a slow grind here, hoping for sixes and eights. Four, hard four, does not matter for us. Eight, easy eight. Again, another $14 winner, uh, so we'll do 15 for one. Six, six easy again. Another 14, do 15 for one. Move that over there. 10, 10 easy. All right, so that is a point hit. Uh, so we do lose the don't pass here. Um, you know, shooter hit quite a few sixes and eights for us. So um, what we'll do is, you know, we'll just replace the don't pass um, and hope the shooter again doesn't hit their point, so eight will be our point. Um, again, up to you where you wanna move this to. Uh, I'm gonna move it over to the nine again. Center field nine, good to move it over there. It's gonna win us 14. Uh, I'll do 15 for one again. Three craps, ace deuce, doesn't matter for us. Four, four easy. Dice rolled there, but it was a four. Five. No field five. And seven, seven out. So uh, we lose these bets here, but we get paid on the don't pass. 
add that to our rack here. And um, that's pretty much the end of our bankroll there that I had set up originally. Um, you know, you can dive into your profit if you want your off the other one, but uh, see how we did. All right, so we had $300 initially. Uh, this is 100, 200, 300. Got 350, 400, 403. So profited $103 there uh, pretty quickly. Um, again, this is a great beginner strategy um, if you're looking to just get into the game. Um, you know, we didn't have many points rolled, which is very good for this strategy. Um, if you do have more points rolled, um, you know, you won't be getting paid as much on the don't and you'll be losing that. But um, overall, pretty good for a short amount of time. Um, again, you saw the 0.7, a couple, um, you know, rolls and then a seven. So this really maximizes your your ability to cover two numbers while also hedging um, with the don't pass. Um, so I do like this as a beginner strategy. Again, it's the six, seven, eight. Um, if your six or eight is the point, then you know you can move over to the five or nine, um, or just not bet either one of them. Totally up to you. Uh, but that's the six, seven, eight. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, drop a like on the video, comment what other strategies you want to see me try out. Um, check me out on Instagram at DiceDGen, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.